What's up, everybody? Okay, so I was wrapping up my workout and I was sitting here thinking, well, I haven't done a fitness video in a really long time. And I feel as of the late, I have been getting a lot of new women in our program who have tons of questions about the way that they're exercising or the way that they're training or what they love to do and does it make sense for their big picture goal. Maybe they're busy working moms, maybe like their work in general is crazy. Maybe it's getting close to like warm weather where a lot of you live and you're like, I wanna be outside. So how do you decide what your exercise or workout program should look like in order to actually meet your needs or fit into the season of your life? So. I'm gonna share with you what I am doing right now, why I chose to do it, and then hopefully it'll just kind of give you some ideas, some thoughts on how you might wanna structure your fitness moving forward into the summer. So I was having this conversation with Paul the other day. We were on a walk and I was like, listen babe, I love, I, I really do love working out. Like for me, it's an athletic practice. It, I don't know, the, the feeling I get when I'm strength training, when I'm doing chin ups, when I'm doing bench press, when I'm doing heavy front squats or back squats, I don't know, it's like unlike anything else, it just makes you feel so powerful. But I was like, listen, I'm getting a little exhausted because right now, in this phase of my life, in this season of my life, I am really wanting to go all in on our business and my family, right? So I wanna put most of my time and energy there and a lot of those things to grow take time, energy, and effort and so does working out. It's also another stressor and I was like, so, I'm not really wanting to spend more than 45 minutes in the gym. And I was like, and honestly, I only wanna do like three days a week. And so I wanna maintain my strength and I wanna maintain my physique. But when I have extra time and energy, I wanna be putting it towards my business and I wanna be putting it towards enjoying my family. I also live in Texas and like April and May, before it gets very, very hot, is like the perfect time to be outside walking. And for me, my happy place where I get more movement in that doesn't stress me out and allows me just to think and get creative, it's honestly in walking. So I was like, I just want it to be so simple. I don't wanna to have to set up a lot of equipment for my workout. I was like, I just wanna get in there, I wanna get it done, and then if or when I have extra time in the day, I'm like, I just wanna get out on some walks. And so, I am doing, right now, three days a week. and. I have so many women that come into the program, they're like, I'm working out five days a week, seven days a week, sometimes I do two a days. Sometimes they strength train and they do cardio or they do a group class in extra strength training. And I'm like, hey, like, does that, is that realistic for you? Like, does that, whoa, it's starting to drizzle out here. I was like, does that fit in to your structure during the day? Does that fit in if you're working? Does that fit in if you're a mom? Like how much time is that commitment taking you? Is it realistic? Is it getting the result that you want? Is it giving you like the mental, you know, whatever freedom it is that you're looking for? Is it getting you fit? And a lot of them are like, no, like I don't even look fit. And they're like the biggest thing, like most of us wanna look fit and we want to enjoy our exercise. Like I use it as a means to relieve stress. I use it as a mean to look good. I use it as a means just to do something athletic because we were put on this earth to move, like we were born to move, so I actually want to use that ability. And so you have to really figure out if the way that you're training right now makes sense for your life. And sometimes doing less actually is gonna get you a better result. So for me, I am doing density training. So literally, I'm doing the same two movements for a 20 minute block, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It's 20 minutes and that's what I'm gonna commit to. And so the way that it's structured, I'm following a, a program that of a guy that Paul and I really respect in the industry and it's a kettlebell program. And I haven't done a kettlebell program in forever. And what I like about it, I can just literally walk out to the gym, get my two kettlebells ready, maybe do a quick warm up, set a timer for 20 minutes to exercise. That takes no thought at all. And I'm still gonna maintain a lot of strength. I'm gonna maintain good physique in the shoulders, the arms, the butt, the hamstrings. I'm gonna do clean and press as a chain so it links together. So I go clean, press, clean, press. Like that takes no thought at all. I go as many rounds as I can based on the amount of repetitions I'm doing in that particular block and then I redo it on Wednesday and I redo it on Friday and that's all I have to think about. And then I'm adding on one other 20 minute block just to get a little bit 
more upper lower body strength physique work in. So it's 40 minutes total. Again, I'm doing mostly dumbbells, kettlebells, or cable machine, which again, take no setup time. And it's gonna give me exactly what I need for this season of life to still get my workout in, to still feel really good, but also just to give me more mental bandwidth towards other types of movement that I wanna do, or other projects I wanna do, or a way to spend my time in a different way. So. I would say figure out like first what's your ultimate goal with your fitness right now and then think about with that actual goal what is it going to take you to have it to achieve it and once you know what it'll actually take is that realistic the expectations you put on yourself when you go and you put that in real life is it going to work out or is it too many moving parts is it too much time right now and sometimes we try to do so much and then we end up not even getting to where we want to be so i like to kind of look at my fitness my food my mindset my business my social life my family life as to like what is realistic what is going to fill my cup what's going to add to the quality of my life and i, I want to be intentional because we only have so much time in the day like your time, energy, and effort are your most valuable resources. So make sure the way that you're training fits into what you really, really want. Hopefully that makes sense. So yeah, clean and press, bench press, and underhand lat pull down is what I'm gonna do today. And then I'm gonna finish with a little bit of arm work. And then on Friday, I'm gonna hit clean and press again. And I'm gonna do front squats for another lower body drill. And I'll do a pulling drill, so I'm gonna do chin ups. And then on Monday, clean and press. And then I am doing split squats and, oh, single arm rows. So I'm gonna try to hit push pull, hinge squat really quickly, hit it all, work my big prime movers, my muscles that go, and then I'll do some accessory work for my muscles that show. So that's what I got going on. Hopefully that gives you some ideas of how to think about your fitness how to make it fit into your real life and make sure that with what you're doing, it's someone excites you and you enjoy it and you're getting the result that you want. All right, give me a thumbs up if you like this episode. It was quick, it was easy, it was fitness related and hopefully it gives you ideas how to structure your program. All right, drop a comment below if you have any questions. Chat soon.